How to connect SQL databases to different programming languages. This video mainly related to SQL database connection with different programming languages. Using SQL, we can create new databases, execute basic SQL queries, procedures and functions, and creating views. In this video, we mainly focused on connecting SQL databases using programming languages like c -sharp, Java, PHP, and C++. SQL is a database computer language designed from mapping data in relational database management system and originally based upon relational algebra. SQL can execute queries against a database, retrieve data from a database, insert, update, delete records in a database, create stored procedures in a database. Some of basic SQL queries are create table which is used to create a new table in a database, update table is a command which used to update existing table. Insert into is the command used to insert value into existing table. Alter table command is used to modify an existing table. And we can retrieve data from the database by using select statement. SQL aggregate functions. AVG returns the average value. Count returns the number of rows. First, returns the first value. Last, returns the last value. Max, returns the largest value. Min, returns the smallest value. And Sum, returns the sum. To type and execute queries, we have to open the application SQL Server Management Studio. Once the application is open, select the server name and click the connect button. First, we have to create a new database. We can simply do this through a new query. Click on the new query icon and type the command create database and the name for the database. To execute a query, highlight the written query and click on the execute button. If the command is successful, we can see the message. Displaying command completed successfully. Otherwise, an error message is displayed. To create a table, we have to give names of the columns and the data type. If it is a varchart data type, we have to specify the size of the variable. If we want to delete a table, we can use the command drop table and the name of the table. To enter values into an existing table, we have to use the insert into command. In this command, we have to specify the name of the table and inside the brackets, we have to specify the field names and their return values. Inside the brackets, we have to specify the field names and their relevant values. Select command is, is used to retrieve values from the database. Once this command is executed, we can see the relevant values in the result field. 